Hey, it's Random Code here, and today I want to showcase that I ported my simple JavaFX Lobby Birds game, or Rectangle Bird game, which is this game, to Android. And I'm going to talk a bit about how it actually wasn't that hard, because I tried to separate inside a Lobby Bird here with JavaFX. We have this logic, kind of like the main just Java logic, moving stuff and moving and calculating stuff. And then all the JavaFX, how we're drawing stuff. And because this has uh, been more or less separated, it was pretty easy to move like a bird class, collision handler, and obstacle handler just into Android Studios, which also uses plain Java, and then create a similar game. So, as just showcased, this is the JavaFX version where I use space to move my bird. As you can see, it's quite simple moving rectangle and some obstacles moving towards us. I then created inside Android Studios this Android game, which is more or less the same, not completely the same, but very close. And as mentioned in the last video, I am using libgjx, which is a Java library made for like game development, which also works on Android. So I can showcase on this emulator, which is kind of like a virtual phone, that I now, whenever I start my program here, it kind of downloads the current version of the game to the phone. On the phone, I just created a start, simple start screen where I can then use the mouse now. So it's kind of like using touch screen instead of space. To then play a very similar game. And it works more or less the same. We have this rectangular bird and these obstacles coming towards us. The calculations of the obstacles and how they're placed, where we place this opening in the obstacles is done exactly the same as we did previously. And as you can see, we have a bird class, which is more the same. We have a collision handler, or obstacles handler, collision handler, obstacle handler. One thing that's a bit different is because I'm using libcodex, which doesn't have as much like finished or pre-built functionality. For example, the rectangles we use in JavaFX are more or less a pre-built set up and stuff that works in JavaFX, but with libgjx, which is a bit more barebone game library, we need to create these ourselves using like positions and then creating some shapes and then from the coordinates and so on. So for example, have a pillar, which have all the coordinates and more or less just have the same functionality as just a plain rectangle would have inside of JavaFX to create the, the obstacles. But I just simply used Android Studios, which is this Android environment which is actually pretty easy to use created a simple project i am using gradle with gradle i could just simply add libgjx as this javafx game library then have my classes ported from my javafx project into here and of course had to change a few things on field things that were different where for example in javafx the way our x and y coordinates have going like it's kind of like the opposite of a normal coordinate system but in libgjx it's the normal so Simple Y gets larger the more we move up and smaller down, which is kind of like the opposite from JavaFX. So a few things have to be kind of changed to the opposite to make the math works. But in general, this porting from JavaFX to Android actually wasn't that hard when just simply building these more or less plain Java classes, which have some basic functionality, just a bunch of values. And then it's just a bit different how we use these values for position and movement where we just move them a bit different, but it's more or less just the same process doing the game, where inside of JX we have, for example, something called the screen adapter, which kind of enforces this show method, which is just called once the game starts, and render method, which is called every frame, where we kind of simulate these things ourselves in JavaFX with some kind of timeline, for example. But this is my version of a Flappy Bird game built in Android Studio, so on an Android phone, using libgjx as my game library. And I don't know if I should share the code. I might, I might not. Let me know in the comments if you'd like to have a close look in the code. As mentioned, it's very similar to the JavaFX code, and the JavaFX X code should already be shared in the description of their own video. But otherwise, just let me know. But in general, if you enjoyed this quick showcase of 
my favorite game ported from JavaFX to Android. Please leave a like and subscribe and wish you all a wonderful day.